And we're back. Sorry we had to do that. Like I said, I can't have videos longer than 15 minutes. I'm going to cut them a little bit short. I don't want them too boring. I don't want them too long. So, uh, yeah, see, Paul knows. He's like, yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Um, I am buzzing. He's buzzing, people. He's uh, buzzing. Oh, yeah. I am feeling it. But anyway. What were we talking about? Ernest and then we couldn't. Ernest up. and just hanging out with our two friends, our other two friends, Brittany yeah. and Becky. Brittany Bird. and Becky. So if we ever get to hang out with all of, all of us four together, we'll be just like. That's something that we would the really four like to The so four think of that. Just say um, that. But like I said, with working at Ingalls and then you having different jobs. But this is for you, Brittany. Don't call me Paulina no more. That's for you. I mean, that's. And I am speaking to you uh, directly. I am not Paulina. The camera is a little far, so if you can't tell, that's his finger. <laughs> yeah. But see, my finger is pointing at you, at you, Brittany, most definitely. I think the word of you, but don't push, you, don't push your luck. I don't think she'll push her luck. Oh, yes, yeah, she will. She just, well, yeah, she, she just, might a little she just keep it up. You know, yeah, this, this but she does it in all good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I Brittany know that. Brittany and Becky are one of the sweetest girls you will ever meet. Well, there's actually four of them. That's, decent, that's actually. yeah, that's true. But because there's Becky, Brittany. Well, but I say all five of them then, because Taylor's pretty sweet. Because she's she's always laughing. That girl's laughing about anything. She was she's in my video, uh, Freaky Fun Night. At oh work. God, she's Man. in that. If you don't know who she is, but Taylor, that's you. <clears throat> that's you, sweetheart. You're a good person. You got a good personality. So don't and nobody ever change you. That's right. Do not let nobody ever change you. And Gabby, I'm sorry I didn't get you dabbing. That was pretty funny, though, when you caught the eyes. That was great. Oh, yeah. She dabbed. She was like, oh. And I was like, wait, yeah, hang Gabby, on. That, that was a good one, too. She, and I missed it. I, at you least I got her caught. You the caught eye. Yeah, you caught it. You just grabbed it when you turned. When you yeah. Had it. But you caught Kevin it. was being a jerk. Oh, man. Kevin was being a moron. <laughs> Excuse me, Kevin, if you're listening. You was a moron that night, buddy. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> oh. I am sorry to say. You but Kev, you're a lucky guy because you got a real good girlfriend. So oh don't God. don't lose that, all right? Yeah, you, you got something it, real good going. You'll be nice to uh, Danielle. And yeah, be nice, be nice to, to her. I had a crush on a girl named Danielle when I was in high school. I did. And, oh, I had one. And she was, uh, she was a knockout. And you got a knockout, so don't screw it up. Buddy. Yeah, don't piss her off because she'll break your nose. I had a girl do that to me. But she wrote a big... 18 wheel or tire into my face and it's kind of shabby. Was the truck attached too? No. <laughs> Thank God. I'll tell you what. <laughs> the truck. So there you go, folks. If, if you ever piss off a girl at, her, at a young age, do not. Because they will show their strength. This girl picked up, it's one of the big old green bulldozers that you see with the big truck tires off the playground, man. She picked this sucker up and rolled it right at me. It, it shattered my whole face. Yeah, folks, never, that happened. I never understood the whole tires out in the playground. I know. We had them out there when I was growing up. And I said, uh, what the heck is the deal here? Was really? it just laying on the ground? No. It, it was where you could jump over them and like, play leapfrog. When, when your, a lot of kids love that game. I mean, I know like they use the tires for like football yeah. training and shit. Like but we that, used, but... we had them on our play. And she actually picked the sucker. And the, it was bigger than her. And she picked it up. I never, made her mad. Never underestimate the strength of a, a woman. Female. Kayla, ever. Kayla, yeah. Kayla can... Push like a whole crud load of buggies up to the top of the. Taylor, the hill. you may be little, but in small packages are a big, strong person. Good grief, girl! I mean, you you amazing sometimes. Oh yeah, and when but, and you guys cannot do no more videos without me on there. I gotta be in, but actually I was in there because you guys were picking on me. Yeah, Kayla tried to pick your nose. I know. He Taylor, knows. <laughs> what what was wrong with that, Kayla? What was you trying to do? But saying. the face you made, though, oh. you were just like... Yeah, my, my mom was standing there on yeah, your her mom back was there. where she could, we guys couldn't see her face. She was standing there, and she was talking to me. And I was, I turned around, and Chris said something. And I looked, oh, I said, oh, no, I'm on YouTube. Oh, no, I'm on YouTube. Because I knew I knew you were doing that for YouTube. Because I, I actually put that in, put something in one day just to look through it, and it was in there. But you guys have fun at Ingles. You know, Ingles is there. Place. Ingalls is a good place to shop. I mean, I remember my grandparents, like I said, when I heard they were going to think about making a superstore, I was actually kind of like, why? Yeah. But then again, it things, I hate change. I'm sorry, but I hate it. I oh, hate yeah. 
I hate losing people as friends. I hate the whole like that thing, but oh, yeah. I know Fair life enough. is life, but I hate change. I hate remodeling. I hate moving, but then again, down here, a lot of good things happen to me. Not that I'm going to mention a lot of it, but oh, yeah. um, it's peaceful here. It's not the city. It's not honk, honk, get the out of the way. It's not, oh, I'm yeah. going to beat the like, what color is that? You wearing my colors, and it's like... Like in New York State... I'm wearing clothes, fool! Yeah, in New York State, people, you go there, you actually get flipped off by all sorts of people in turbans. It actually is true. I thought that was a thing they put on TV, but it's actually true. My little brother was driving, and the thing, five different people in different turbans, flipped them off every five minutes. I've never been to New York, but I have a friend that lives out go. there. Don't want to go. She lived, I think, I think she said like five five miles away from Ground Zero, mm. and uh, I was actually I don't know why, but I was watching a video last night from people making the videos that were actually there, and yeah, like, and I watched the second plane crash into the building. Oh yeah, I've seen that one. And I I was, I almost started crying. Like I like I'm sorry. Like I don't mean to sound like a bitch right now. Okay. Pardon my French, but I mean I was like, oh my god. And in the and the but. third plane that crashed took out a field, and there wasn't no bodies to be found. So people it, remember that. When the third plane crashed, there wasn't nobody left. So they took over the cockpit, they crashed in a field, and there wasn't nothing left of the plane. To all the servicemen and women out there, yeah. I want to say thank you for your service. And for the ones that did not come back, they're the real heroes. But the ones that do come back, they're heroes too. Oh, yeah. But the real ones are the ones that don't come home. And I mean that physically, not mentally. Yep. And 12 of you guys out there, seriously, for us to be able to sit on our butts, do this, stuff our fat faces, no offense, <laughs> but for us to do that, seriously, we yep. want to say thanks. And it, if I didn't have Crohn's, I'd probably be out there with you. I'd probably be in the Navy. I would probably want, I would probably try to beat Chris Kyle's record, but... Chris Kyle, I probably even if I got close to it, I'd probably be like, nah, I can't because that's his record. Oh yeah, but and I couldn't get in there with you guys back then because recruiters looked at my disability and said, get out of our office. They said, get out of our excuse my language right now, but get at the damn shit out of our office and don't come back. Cause I failed the test. That's what they looked at. Okay. I learned disability. Because I'm dyslexic, and I was in the end of the Navy or the Army or whatever it was at that time. My dad didn't like that. Either. Yeah, well, I think as long I mean, for people to say, sign me up, I'm willing to go, yep. that's a lot of guts and man oh, yeah. berries to do that. And even if you're a woman, that's woman berries if you got them. Hey. Yep, yep, yep. Well, that's, like the movie uh, G.I. Jane, that was a good movie. Didn't, didn't they more started a row for that? And she, and there's women in the Navy now. Yep. On count of her. So women's got the thing to do it, go for it. That's all right. I say. If you let them go for it. <sighs> but all the men and women in our service lane, thank you for your service. That's right. Fight to you. Get a drink to you. Even if yeah, it's, he, he even if it's cheap. <laughs> no matter what, if it's a cheap drink or not, even if it's a glass of soda, it's up to you. Or a glass of wine. Or a glass anywhere. of wine. You sound like Mick now. I want some wine with my Italian. Oh, man, don't get me started on him. God, He's man. a good dude, but, I mean... He pushes his luck too far he, with some people. No. Really? Yeah, he does. Hmm. I've never heard that. He pushes it with me, man. I'm telling you right now. He oh, says one more thing about me and my radio. When I sit after and enjoy myself on my break, there ain't nothing to him. What? I, I, yeah, he actually... Come in and said, Paul's out there jamming to his radio a while ago. This is country music. If I want to listen to country music, I'll listen to country music. I mean, I like all of it. I like rap. I like rock. I like it all. But that day, I was listening to uh, Pontoon by Little Big Town. And I was jamming. I mean, I had that thing loud. Little Big Town. Is that the Little Big Town? I'll show you how many. He. Oh my God! Oh Lord! <laughs> he's, he's stumbling. I got a headache. Oh no! Hangover I, at I Chateau a, Lake. A Chris, is that the the people that wrote the song?
song uh, I Got a Girl Crush? No, Little Big Town, no. Uh, they got Pontoon and Tornado. Well, show them. Show them people what you listen to. Don't be ashamed. I'm not much of a... That's what I listen to. Little Big Town and I even listen to Kiss and Van Halen. I know y'all know Gene Simmons and who he is with a long tongue. That's what I listen to. He's in the truck right now. But that's what I listen to, folks. Good stuff. It calms me down, but right now, I, <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. All right. Well, we're at the 10.39 minute mark where we were. So, might have to go to a part three if I have enough room on this phone. But I know I can get 30-some minutes on this thing, so we're going to do that right now. Yeah. We're going to cut the... Because I'm going to sit down because this boy's got had it. Whew. He's going to go tumbling over. Hang on, let's see if I can push my other chair. Oh, don't do that, Chris. Come <laughs> on. Oh, Lord. Hang on. Let's see him flick him. There we go. <laughs> flick him. Get out of here. Man. Becky and them's gonna have a laugh at us if they they're do gonna, see this. They're gonna look at my face and be like, "What the flip did he just do?" <laughs> yeah, they're, but they're gonna say, "What happened to Paul?" Get that. All right, part three coming your way.